Welcome back to the channel guys, hope everyone's doing well. Today is a video about the DJI Avata 2. I've been loving the Avata 2, I've been flying it quite a lot. Um, myself and Neil from NJ Tech Channel have been developing a new product alongside Zero Fox 3D, Chris from Zero Fox. So what you're looking at here is the Acro Flow bumper protection kit for the DJI Avata 2. So a lot of work has gone into these bumpers, particularly by Neil, who knows quite a lot about aerodynamics. So what we've basically done is designed a bumper kit that really doesn't affect the flight performance of the Avata 2. We've found that some of the bigger, chunkier ones that you find on Amazon, they really do affect the flight performance and you do end up with sort of really weird characteristics happening, like you get these weird rolls and stuff like that where the drone just, you know, seems to just do some weird stuff. In our testing, which is obviously why this has taken sort of so long to come into fruition, we've tried loads of different tweaks on the design and finally come up with something that actually does work and does provide a level of protection. Okay, look, it's not gonna provide, it's not gonna prevent you from smashing this thing to bits if you just go head first into the ground but it will actually protect the edge of the plastic and stop dinks and and kind of you know allow you to bounce off objects a little bit better because these do have like a cushion zone um, inside so these are slightly hollowed out in the middle so without further ado i'm going to do one of my normal practice sessions bashing around in these woods and hopefully we won't break anything okay so we're in manual mode i've got about a 26 degree angle here um, and we're just gonna just gonna take off I mean I, I still am just amazed by the quality of this this video um, you know the video feed is just so good you can just see every little branch and everything else um, which is obviously gonna help you in situations where like this <laughs> And you know, this it's such a docile little quad as well. That's the thing about this. You know, you can fly this in places where, you know, you might not wanna just kind of, you know, send a full blown FPV drone in. Um, you can use this to sort of scout around, but also if you do end up with a situation where, you know, you need to just do something sort of dramatic and just stop for some reason, you can just hit the pause button, which is just, you know, absolutely fantastic. So it's kind of, even though I do fly some pretty nuts FPV stuff, um, you know, you're, you find that, you know, this flying this, something like this is not, you know, I've seen a lot of hate on this drone and I don't think really that it's, it's kind of, it's justified. No, it hasn't got the crazy performance power of a, you know, something um, like a five inch or anything, anything really lightweight, but it does fly well. It really does fly well. And you can do some great stuff with it camera's great as well so anyway enough about the drone itself so the the actual um protection bumpers as i say we've been kind of working on for quite a while um tried lots of different versions and this sort of your washout thing that was happening with the drone when you kind of really chuck it around um seems to just get worse with extra weight on the on the ducts this is the other thing i do from this i do end up knocking this um uh, knocking this gimbal with my finger because I'm used to holding a having a finger down there so <laughs> finger down there it sounds a bit dodgy I'm getting a few glitches actually um, but yeah you know it's handling this really nicely there's nothing sort of untowards going on um, you know you can do all your normal sort of maneuvers and stuff like that you know we're not having seen anything weird happening um, you know so these do these do actually work that's the thing and that's what we tried to sort of do we we really wanted to have something that wasn't gonna you know really affect the flying sort of characteristics of it at all but um anyway i'm gonna shut up now and just do some do some flying because it's actually quite difficult talking and flying as well Right, so I clipped it there, clipped something. Now, that when you do this, you get impact detected on the screen. You really don't want to be 
um, putting it into normal mode or anything like that at this point because we do we have found that it does really um, mess with mess with the system so the, the kind of uh, I don't know what it is but the, the compass everything else just everything just goes up the, up the wall um, and you end up with the drone can just do some really weird stuff so when you get that impact um, detected message just do not do not hit normal mode or do anything weird because you will uh, you will find that that this drone will just it will just fly off and do something really weird, which is really what you don't want. Um, but yeah, so we've had a couple of little bashes. You know, those might not have they wouldn't have done anything to the to the ducts, but you might have ended up with a little scratch there. So these will prevent that at least. Um, or worse, you know, you might get it back and find that you've got some sort of you know big dink in it, which you wouldn't have with these these bumpers. So having something on on the on the uh, on the ducts, I say ducts, they're more like prop guards actually, we said this in the beginning, but having something like that on there, you know, is gonna really, really help the situation. Um, and you know, you won't have this sort of problem, but. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. But it's lovely flying around with this. I, I really like it. It's not, you know, you're not going super bonkers quick, but you're just sort of generally just cruising around you know, you can get close to stuff. This is what this drone's really good for. You know, you're not gonna do anything, you're not gonna win any awards for sort of like best freestyle with this or anything like that, but you know, stuff like that, that works nicely. If you've got extra weight on those prop guards, that will that will cause a problem. <laughs> um, you know, that would mean that you'd end up with, you'd find that you wouldn't be able to do that. It would just be all over the place if it's not wobbling around, but um, yeah, generally, it's okay. Don't really want to get stuck in here because it isn't the best place to get to. <laughs> ah, I've got something. I've got a wasp, something near my ear. That's a good thing about this. You can just pause the drone. And then we can flip back into manual. Oh, well, we can try. Right, back into manual now. It's fairly quiet as well. Right, we're down. <laughs> so yeah, see what I mean about this. It's not the ideal place to be crashing because although it doesn't look like this kind of, it's very long grass and stuff, or even just brambles and everything, but um, it is pretty bad. So <laughs> brambles galore, but I can hear it. The good thing about this, good thing about these guards is you can actually see them with the orange coloring. So a quick inspect then, no damage you can see at all there. Obviously you wouldn't really expect it, but you can see here where it's obviously clipped the tree there, you can see a bit of dirt on there, um, which should just rub off and that should literally just come off. So yeah, all well and good. And as you saw, it didn't affect the flight performance at all. Not in that kind of flying. I mean, you know, you could go harder with this and we will be doing some other, uh, other sort of videos showing that. But all in all, they work as expected. And I love that Chris has found this orange color as well, which matches the, uh, the rest of the drone. So it looks really OEM. So that is it for this one, guys. If you want to grab a set of these for your Avata 2, go check out the Zero Fox 3D website. There's a link below, um, promo link on there. So do that and keep your DJI Avata 2 in top condition. Catch you next time, guys. Mm -hmm.